Genghis Khan was born as Temujin in 1162. At just nine years old his father took him to learn the ways of a fellow Mongolian tribe and arrange his son for marriage. His father left him with the Kongarad tribe to learn their ways. However tragedy struck as Temujin's father was poisoned by the rival Tartar clan and passed away before Temujin could see him. After his father's followers all split, Temujin and his family lived in the mountains where he ended up killing his half-brother over a fish. He was also taken as a captive and lived in a cage before escaping. In 1177, Temujin finally got married to Borte and raised an army of 20,000 men. Over the next years he had multiple battles and skirmishes with rival tribes with mixed success. In 1195, the Tartars, backed by the Chinese Jin dynasty, attacked the Kongirad and defeated them. However the alliance didn't last as the leader of the Tartar clan had issues with how the loot was distributed, which led to the Jin dynasty attacking the Tartars the next year. Did you know Genghis Khan ordered each of his soldiers to slaughter 300 people during a siege? Welcome to Genghis Khan's most brutal war atrocities. Genghis Khan virtually wiped a city off the face of the map after it surrendered. Once the city opened its gates, Genghis Khan ordered each of his men to kill at least 300 people. While this happened, Genghis Khan sat on a golden throne and watched the executions. It was said to be a memorable day for shrieking, weeping, and wailing. In another city, Genghis Khan and his army killed so many people, there were three massive piles of skulls for men, women, and children. After a brutal siege, Genghis Khan ordered nothing to be left alive. People were pulled out of hiding places and beheaded. Even dogs, cats, and other animals were slaughtered. Out of the entire population, only 400 people survived. After the Mongol horde sacked the ancient city of Termez, they began cutting open civilians to look for swallowed riches. While the Mongols were sacking the city, a woman pleaded for mercy, claiming she already swallowed her jewelry. As a response, the Mongols cut her open and retrieved the pearls. Believing other civilians were doing the same, they began to disembowel every corpse in sight. The Ruthless Rise of Genghis Khan Imagine a time when one man reshaped the world with sheer force. Meet Genghis Khan, a name that strikes fear into hearts even today. He wasn't just your average conqueror. No, he was a force of nature. Picture this, the 13th century Eurasia. Genghis Khan rose from obscurity to build an empire that spanned continents. But here's the real shocker. He did it with a brutality that's hard to fathom. He led armies that left cities in ruins and countless lives lives lost. His name became synonymous with ruthless conquest. Genghis Khan's legacy is a dark and complicated tale of ambition and devastation. Genghis Khan's used a 1,000 cats to conquer a city. Faced with the impenetrable walls of Valohia, Genghis Khan devised a cunning strategy rather than relying solely on brute force. He approached the city's leader with a proposal for peace, asking for merely 1,000 cats and several birds. The city's ruler, puzzled yet relieved, quickly agreed and handed over the animals, believing peace was secured. However, Genghis Khan had a different plan in mind. He ordered his soldiers to attach oil-soaked cloths to the tails of the frightened animals and set them on fire. In terror and agony, the cats dashed back to their homes within the city's walls. As they scattered through the streets, the flames from their tails set the wooden structures of Valohia ablaze. Soon, massive fires broke out everywhere, plunging the city into chaos and panic. With the defenders overwhelmed and trying to extinguish the spreading fires, Genghis Khan's army launched a full-scale assault. The Mongols easily overpowered the distracted city guards and captured Valohia, showcasing the ruthless efficiency of Genghis Khan's military tactics.
This is what would happen if you personally disrespected Genghis Khan. 805 years ago, Genghis Khan sent Mongolian ambassadors to establish trade relations with Allah ad-Din Muhammad II, the Shah of the Khwarezmian Empire. The Shah, suspicious of the intentions, decided to casually execute all of the Mongolian ambassadors, which the killing of envoys is one of the gravest offenses against Mongol law. And Genghis Khan took this act more than personally. He immediately swore to completely destroy the Khwarezmian an empire, and two years later, his mission was complete. He massacred hundreds of thousands of the Khwarezmian citizens, including women, children, and even animals. Historical accounts often describe the lands being littered with bones and ruins, which is a direct testament to the ferocity and cruelness of Genghis Khan's Mongol conquest. The death of Genghis Khan. In the vast expanse of the Mongolian steppe, the death of Genghis Khan in 1227 remains one of history's greatest mysteries. There are several theories about his demise, yet none conclusively answer how this formidable conqueror met his fate. One theory suggests battle injuries claimed his life, possibly during a campaign against the Western Sia, where he might have fallen from his horse or been struck by an arrow. Another posits that illness, perhaps a plague or typhus, brought the great Khan to his knees, a humbling end for a warrior known for his invincibility. Yet, some believe he died of natural causes, perhaps simply the wear of time on a body worn by countless campaigns or of old age. The secrecy surrounding his burial, with his final resting place still undiscovered, only deepens the speculations. Genghis Khan's legacy remains to this day, as his empire and successors continued to expand over much of the known world after his death. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and follow for more historical facts. In 1227, Genghis Khan passed away and requested to be buried in secrecy with no signs or markers. To maintain the mystery of his final resting place, those involved in his funeral were silenced and the location of the burial was kept a secret. The army rode over the grave with 1,000 horses to erase any evidence and prevent any attempts at grave robbing. Secrecy was largely due to the timing of Genghis Khan's death, as it occurred at a critical moment during the Western Sire Conquest, which had taken 20 years to plan. Despite numerous searches throughout the 20th century, the hidden tomb of Genghis Khan remains an unsolved mystery to this day.